Watch the technique of Bo Diddley. Bo Diddley, Bo Diddley, first off what a great name, Bo Diddley and ladies and gentlemen this guy really was an innovator in many many ways. Just check out his guitar for a start. Bo Diddley was all about doing things different. He wanted to be unique, so he had his guitars custom built in a rectangular shape. This influenced many future rock bands to come, and he even had his guitars designed with inbuilt effects such as flanges and delays. Wow, forward thinking to say the least. Bo was also ahead of his game in terms of equality and included women in his band. There was Gloria Jolivet, known as The Duchess, Peggy Jones or Lady Bo, who played lead guitar, almost unknown at the time. Cornelia Redman was Cookie V and Debbie Hastings was known as, well, Debbie Hastings. You'd hardly ever see this kind of lineup back in the 50s and whether it was a clever ploy for him to gain more exposure or not, he was still way ahead of the game. He was fascinated with rhythm and he based his entire sound around a driving tribal, almost African rhythm. When asked about it he said that he played his guitar as though he was playing a drum kit and you can hear this in almost all of his records. He's thumping away relentlessly, leading his band like a machine. This rhythm coupled with the effects he used such as delay and tremolo is pure bolt diddly. He has literally carved his name into the manual of music. Just ask any drummer to play a bow diddly rhythm and see what happens. If they don't know what it is, chances are they're playing it in their music without even realising. The artists and bands he's influenced are vast. Who are we talking about? Buddy Holly for a start with his fantastic version of Bo Diddley and the Rolling Stones recorded many of his hits including I'm a Man, You Can't Judge a Book by the Cover and Who Do You Love. The song Who Do You Love was re-recorded and featured in the 1980s movie La Bamba about the life of the young rocker Richie Valens who tragically died at the age of 17 with Buddy Holly and the Big Bopper in a plane crash in 1959. I love this version and it was one of the influences on me when I was just discovering the wonderful world of rock and roll. Let's check it out. Got a brand new chimney made on top, made out of a human skull. And now come on, take a little walk with me, Arlene, and tell me who do you love? Who do you love? Bo Diddley also wrote songs for other artists, and a track I really love, which he co wrote with Jody Williams, is the Mickey and Sylvia hit Love is Strange. Buddy Holly also recorded a demo of this song at his apartment, just him and his guitar, which is wonderful. And ten years after this passing, a band was added, creating a really great version. The Mickey and Sylvia version became one of the main tracks in the hugely successful movie Dirty Dancing. He also wrote the first record for the future megastar Marvin Gaye, who believe it or not was also Bo's valet. But let's get back to Mickey and Sylvia and Love is Strange. His 
career carried on successfully through the decades and he toured the world playing concerts and collaborating with other bands such as The Clash, The Grateful Dead, The Rolling Stones and many more. He also had a stint for two years as a deputy sheriff in Valencia County, New Mexico. How rock and roll is that? Bo Diddley passed away on June the 2nd, 2008, a home of heart failure. Long live Bo Diddley and long live rock and roll. I'd just like to thank David Smart for supplying me with this Eddie Cochran Memorial T-shirt. They're available at Smart Custom Wear Online. So get on there, get yourself a T-shirt and get rocking and rolling.